Welcome to this Excel Stat short video on how to create a contingency table in Excel Stat. To start creating a contingency table, go to the menu Preparing Data and click on the option Create a contingency table. Once the dialog box is opened, select the variable to be used in rows. Here we select the variable age in the column B. We included the column label in our selection. Next, we select the variable to be used in columns, which is the variable city in the column C. We also include the header of this variable. As a result, we tick the option variable labels. Then, we decide to display the result in a new sheet, so we leave the option selected sheet. We can now move on to the tab Options. In this tab, we can decide how to treat the categories in the results. We select to sort them alphabetically. It is also possible to select a key to test to test the independence between rows and columns. In the next tab, Missing data, you can decide what to do in case of missing data. With the option selected now, Do not accept missing data, we will get a warning in case of missing data. The Outputs tab enables you to select the result to be displayed. We select, in addition to the contingency table, the observed and theoretical frequencies. In the tab Chart, you can select an option to get a 3D view of the contingency table. Tick that option. Now that all the settings are done, you can click on the OK button. In this window, Selection, you have the opportunity to check that the selections are correct. When this is done, click on Continue. The first result is the contingency table. Note that the individuals are not distributed evenly. Some cross classes are empty, such as Paris and the age 25-34. The 3D view is very useful to visualize the distribution of the samples. Finally, we have the tables of the observed and theoretical frequencies. The theoretical frequency corresponds to a distribution where the columns and rows are independent. We can see that this is not the case here. Thank you for watching this video.